Welcome to How to Party, your step-by-step -step video guide to exploring the art of partying in a totally controlled environment. And now with a closing message, here's Dr. Herbert Dipshu. Hello, I'm Dr. Albert Dipshu. Suppose for a moment that you could master the skills to party like you've never partied before. Well, now you're going to learn those skills. But remember, always follow our instructions very carefully. Don't make the same mistake this young man made. So, come with me now as we explore together how to party. What are parties? Where do they come from? Can anybody have one? Is there a right way and a wrong way to party? What should you wear? What's the difference between a Philippine dictator and a Hollywood agent? These are just a few questions. A good party, like a turkey, takes time and skill to get the juices flowing. To find out more, we must first trace the party back to its beginnings, back through history. Since the beginning of time, and even earlier, people have partied. Perhaps even the opposite holds true. Scientists shudder at the immense possibilities. At the very dawn of civilization itself, as caveman set out on history's first beer run, parties dominated the thinking of wise men who were unable to put into words the truth they sought. As early as 1958, a puppeteer named Sherman Biscuit would create what today symbolizes the ultimate party favor. It was a horn with long frizzy streamers that twizzled fellow party mates when blown. But it would soon make way for pygmies to join hands and dance in a circle to the song Like a Virgin as they lip synced their own lyrics. Then, in the days of Moses, man's first cleanup committee would face the incredible aftermath at the historic partying of the Red Sea. And so today, we carry on the age-old tradition of partying, as is evident throughout America's rich history. Rich history. Rich history. Rich We will now take you to your first practice party. Here we will test your skills as you meet new party friends. And while you attend this practice party, we will keep score for you to see how well you do on your own. We will now take you to your second practice party. Here we will test your skills as you meet new party friends. And while you attend this practice party, we will keep score for you to see how well you do on your own. Give me 10 bucks, pal.
Hey, hey, get back, hey, 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 get back. Jerk the skin off my girl. Jerk it. Oh, what are you? A homo or something? Jerk Am I turning you on? I mean busy. I've been terribly, terribly busy. Do you hear me? Do you understand? I'm not kidding. Okay, I'm not just paying for yourself and have that man enough for you. Let me buy you a drink. Hey, check out this clown. <laughs> I knew how to party. Sally was queen of the disco roller rink, but Bob, the good-looking manager, couldn't even get her attention till he covered his entire body with multi-bright toothpaste. Ah! Now he's the queen of the roller rink. Wow. Multi-bright toothpaste. Cover your body with it, and you'll notice the difference tonight. Oh, baby. Now let's see what you've learned by taking this simple party pop quiz. It's a party pop quiz. Ooh, uh... We often see the initials RSVP on party invitations. What is the correct meaning of RSVP? One, respond soon for validated parking. Two, regretfully some vomiting possible. Or three, relatives, salesmen, and virgins prohibited. Your time is up. If you answered none of the above, you were correct. The correct answer is four. Raunchy sex and violence provided. Join us again later for another Party Pop Quiz. Now you're ready for your first party lesson. These special party tips will take you on your way to your best party years or more, whichever comes first. Party tip number one. Always bring your own party snacks. Snacks? Oh, I would never go to a party without lots and lots and lots of snacks. And I'm talking good snacks. <laughs> the party snack is central to every good party. Can you tell which guest at this party forgot to BYOB? All right, come on, move in. Let's do them up. Excuse me, I. I gotta go to the bathroom. Great, great. Uh, come on, deal with cards. Let's go. Gabby, excuse? Sure. Come on, let's go. 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 Come on, let's Oh, yeah. All right. 
Come on, let's yeah, steal the cards. All right, right, right. right. cards around it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's pull. Let's have another hand here. <clears throat> what I miss? Nothing. 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 Nothing.
You're now ready to move on to your next party lesson. Party games. Professor Martin Bud Fellows. Oh, uh, going back to colonial days. Uh, parties were held in open fields. Uh, they used corn stick noisemakers, played various mud games. It was a wonderful place to meet girls wasn't a terribly good place to take girls. It's time to party your buns off. Party tip number three. Always plan games and activities to make your party fun. Say, Bob, Edna, how about giving us a party game to play? You got it, Donnie. Here's a game that anybody can play at just about any party. And it'll even keep them home for breakfast. That's right, Edna. This is a game called Drinking Rock. Who'd like to play? Anybody? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need a drink. Oh, goody. I'll get the drinks. Honey, you explain the rules, all right? OK, Edna. Drinking Rock is a traditional American game that has only one basic rule. What's that, Bob? Every time you hear the word rock, all you have to do is take a drink of this 151 proof liquor, and the last person to pass out is the winner. Sounds easy, Bob. Come on, sit down and let's all play. Can anybody say rock? <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. oh that's <laughs> you have the right idea, but we'll play using this radio. Oh. That way, everybody can play, even you people watching at home. Okay? Oh, but keep in mind, drinking liquor can be very dangerous, so you have to be very careful which radio station you choose to listen to. All right? Is everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get through it. We hope you've enjoyed our evening of the best of the classical strings, brought to you by OK Mortuary. Well, it's that time of year again, and here at OK Mortuary, we've got to clean up our used coffin department, and that means big savings for you. We've got trade-ins, display models, and slightly One time, we played this game, and they said the word rock three times in the first 15 minutes. Everybody just about died. <laughs> That's OK Mortuary, Highway 21 at the Rock Hill exit. At this time, this radio station, under authorization of the Federal Communications Commission, will change its programming format. Please stand by. Now, WPUD Rock. Get ready for the biggest rock concert ever. Oh. Well, you'll rock like you never rocked before. With rock, the biggest rock, the best rock in rock history. You'll rock with the rock of the hard rock, sounds of rock, the mere rock act. It's the rock and roll rock band, the rock festival, and outdoor rock paraphernalia tailgate sale for eight big rock days and rock nights. Listen for details on your favorite rock station. Okay, remember, that's the big rock event of the year where you'll rock the biggest rock, the best rock selling rock in all of rock history, so stay tuned to your favorite rock station for all your rock information. No. Okay, here's the song now called Rock, Rock, Rock. <laughs> Thank you, Bob and Edna, for another great party game. Drinking Rock.
This fun party game illustrates just one of the many ways we strive as a nation united to improve our party skills. Hi, I'm Nurse Hat Tip. Well, really, my name is Connie Bobing Glow, but when the producers of How to Party came to me and they said they wanted somebody who could talk about how to make really cute guys at parties, they wanted somebody who knew what she was talking about. Know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Okay, so when you go to a party, the first thing you want to do is make sure your hair looks really good because you don't want to have to go up to a really cute guy and go, God, I hate my bangs. <laughs> okay, so the best way to meet really cute guys at parties is to let them know you're interested in meeting them. Like recently, I was at this party and this really cute guy comes up to me and he goes, Connie, are you going to the party after the party? I said, no, I got another party to go to. <laughs> okay. We'll be back with more How to Party tips, but first, this promotional message. Hey, Mom, Dad, kids, everybody loves new Rope on a Stick. It's the great new fun product from Rocco that looks just like a rope on a stick, but it's so much more. Look, hold it over your head, or make it go around your neck. Now look, it's a whip. Swing at your friends while they swing at you. Try to wrap it around your legs. You'll find literally hundreds of things to do with new Rope on a Stick. You and your friends will want to play for hours. Now look, you can hold it out the window. Throw it up in the air. So you can throw it the highest. Take it to the disco. New disco rope on a stick. Now look, it's a helicopter. Play catch at the beach. Hold it behind your back. Drag it on the ground. Tease animals. You won't want to put it down. New rope on a stick. Available now in vibrant orange and vibrant green. Start your collection today. Hang it from a tree. Trade with your friends. Take it to bed. Rope on a stick from Mr. Party, the maker of Rick D's in a Jar and other fine party products. If you're anything like me, you're interested in finding out more about me. Unfortunately, time doesn't permit for us to cover all the fascinating party people we would have liked because our producers wanted to cover all aspects of research. To find out how to party, we took our cameras where our cameras have never been before. With me here, entertainment attorney, Mr. Bill B. Cumming. Bill, how long have you been an entertainment attorney? I'm not an entertainment attorney. I'm in here. You are Mr. Bill B. Cumming. No. Do you know where his office is? No. Thank you. You just lost your job and you can't face reality. And all you want is a beer, not just any beer. Yeah, just any beer. <laughs> We can buy drinks here. You like beer? <clears throat> I know I do. <laughs> I love beer. <laughs> beer. Now that you've experienced a fully enjoyable meal together, suggest stopping somewhere nice for drinks. Responsible salesmen the world over endorse this kind of behavior, but only long enough to satisfy their own selfish needs. So bring plenty of spare change. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm on TV. <laughs> sure are, pal. 247. 247. 247. <laughs> Could you microwave this for me? Sure. <laughs> 247. Is the TV for hold ups? <laughs> right. <clears throat> 247. Hold up. <laughs> Very clever, huh? 247. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Here. Take no. It. Take no. It. no. No. Give it to me. 
<laughs> Take the money. Take the money. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's yours. Yeah. It's yours. Yeah. Come on, pal. Come on. Just get out of here. Don't, don't hurt no. me. No. No. It's yours. It's yours. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Please excuse us for the holdup in our show. And now we'll continue with How to Party. Party tip number three. What to do when the police arrive. When the police knock on the door, too often we make the mistake of opening it. Get out of here! First, be prepared to offer them goodies. Hi, boys. <laughs> See something you like? It's important that this is done with the proper attitude. Hi, boys. Would you like some donuts? Second, never try to hide what's going on. Oh, are we too loud, man? We're just a babysitter. Yeah, we're just a That's babysitter. That's right. That's, we're, we're here. We're, 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 we're babysitter. It's better to come right out and give them what they really are looking for. Who do I make the check out to? Be gone, evil cannabis. And if nothing else works, appeal to their sense of taste. Hey, you're just in time. I was just about to put on my Yoko Ono album. Hey, where are you going? Fascinating facts that will help you get laid at parties. Did you know singer, songwriter, performer Kenny Loggins wrote the song House at Pooh Corner just so he could say the word poo on the radio? Believe it. Or else. I try to teach my clients the importance of do's and don'ts at a party. In fact, they're the key to my whole counseling approach. Do's and don'ts. I mean, you must practice do's and don'ts at a party. It's so important. I can't, I can't think of one successful party that I've been to where it wasn't necessary for me to refer to my golden list of do's and don'ts. For instance, do... Well, do, well, for a moment I can't think of one, but trust me, it's so important to have that list of do's and don'ts. You need that list of do's and don'ts. It's a party, do's and don'ts. When you go to a party, do bring a gift for the hostess. Don't puke on her shoes. <laughs> Hi, Miss Hot Tips here again. Really, I didn't want to have to do this again, but the producers of How to Party said that it was so important to talk about how to meet really cute guys at parties. I said okay, because they're really cute guys. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you want to do is wear a really cute top. It is so important. <laughs> okay, like I was at this one party recently, and this guy came up to me, a really cute guy, and he goes, Connie, how do you do it? How do you sleep all day and still have enough energy to get up and party all night? And so like I said, I said, thanks. Because, like, you should always say thanks when you get a compliment, even if you don't know what it means. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, that was a little cerebral. <laughs> okay. Professor Fellows explains in more detail. Alcohol breath aroma with implied consent can lead to double jeopardy. If you are enforced with a dilemma or a paradox, plea bargaining can verdict prevention. Party tip number four. To ensure a good time at your party, always invite at least one interesting guest who you can count on to liven things up. Hey everybody, it's me, Mr. Party. Hey, come on everybody, it's a party. How about it? Hey everybody, say hello to Mr. Cheesehead! Hi Mr. Cheesehead! Hello everybody! 
What do you think of the party so far, Mr. Cheesehead? <laughs> okay, we'll be back with more party fun, but first, here's a little Rod Stewart. Okay, tonight's party is brought to you by America's favorite breakfast cereal, Sugar Loot! Hi kids, this is Captain Hook to tell you all about a brand new breakfast cereal. Uh, uh, oh yeah, new Sugar Loot! <laughs> it's a new fun-filled bowl of sugar-coated loots shaped like little cues guaranteed to get you off on your way to work, school, or play. Go on, take a bite. From the Pillsburger Company. And look, inside of every box there's a free set of stereo headphones. Whoa! This is Captain Hook saying, get off today with the sugar coated cue. It's the fine breakfast food. It's new sugar loot. Hey, come on, it's time to meet some new friends, everybody! Say hello to my best friend, <laughs> me! <laughs> hey, how you doing, Ryan? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to them. You people should be home watching television right now. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you wouldn't? No. Uh, think about it, you just did. I don't think you understand how this works. Look, let's just do the routine, huh? okay? The routine. You mean the one where you work? Right, yeah, that one. I can't. You can't? I can't. What do you mean you can't? Right. Come on, you're not no live. Way. You're on tape. I am a bad memorist. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we have to entertain these people here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. What are they going to do? Turn me off? Well, yeah, they can. Not like you turn me off. Look, you're gonna have to change that attitude, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah? yeah, for these people, well, I think so. Uh, well, I'll tell you what's the matter with this one. Yeah. You're real close to a jerk right now. Well, nobody will notice if you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Look, let's just do that song. What do you say, huh? You mean the one where I sing and you drink the water? Yeah, that one. Forget come on, it. come on, you right. can do it. You can do it? Well, dummy can't. Well, what do you want to do then, huh? huh? I said, what do you want to do? Read my oh, lips. I have a choice. You have a choice, yeah. No, no, don't go changing the channel on me now. No, oh, yeah. no, 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 change the channel. Whoa, hey, hey, how about it? Ha, 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 choo! How about it? <laughs> hey, listen, I got another party to go to. Don't you animals stay up all night now, you crazy people. See ya! Superstar entertainer, Mr. Frank Sinatra. Eight minute or else. And now, fascinating facts that will help you get laid at parties. Did you know the Sukasawi Indians collected their garbage and buried it in a huge ceremonial mound, which today we call Ohio? These are just a few of the many fascinating facts that are gonna help you at your next party. Uh-oh. My God, there's a fly on his face. Do something. Thank you. Party tip number five. Always know when to party. Come on, baby. Oh. Hi. Did, did you know that singer-songwriter Kenny Loggins wrote the lyrics the house at Pooh Corner just so he could say the word Pooh on the radio?
everybody. Who would like to play a new fun party game? Anyone? Hey, Bob, is this Drinking Rock again? No, Donnie. This is a new party game called Whiz Roulette. Whiz Roulette? Whiz Roulette. Help me out. Who would like to play? I am. Go on, take a beer and take a sip. Now, Al, how's your beer taste? Bob, ah, tastes like beer to me. How about yours, Tommy? Oh, it tastes about the same to me, too, Bob. How's yours taste, Ted? I don't know, Bob. Mine tastes kind of funny. You win! That's the one I whizzed in! <laughs> oh, fuck that! I never won anything! <laughs> we got to play this game at the club. Oh, Better luck next time, boys. Congratulations! Oh. <laughs> Say, who'd like another beer? Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Nothing livens up a party like a party gag. I like to recommend to my clients the exploding tuna sandwich. Or there's the super glue party toilet seat. It's, it's a wonderful natural. It usually works. Most people associate partying with fun and games and items made of rubber. But there's another side to partying that we can't ignore. Some say it's dark and evil. Some simply say, phooey. But in order for us to cover both aspects of partying thoroughly, we consulted an expert in party abuse. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the fourth grade. I am Sister Twisted. I gotta apologize before we start. I got a little spot up here left over from Ash Wednesday. But I got A! Nice Ash, huh? Ah. Yeah, you know, tomorrow is the annual parish picnic. Now for many of you, this'll be your first sexually integrated social event. And if you're not careful, it'll be your last. And just to be sure, I have prepared this short but informative video to acquaint you with the most treacherous danger you'll ever face in life. The perils of party! So let's all watch it together, shall we? Yes, sister. Hey baby, where are 
I call you? Hey! I had a sex change operation! Call me Transistor! <laughs> all right! Well, now let's see what we've all learned. Pop quiz, multiple choice, pencils, papers, arms on the desk, eyes straight ahead. All right, now. If I hadn't gone to that party, turned up the lights, lowered the hemlines, stopped the decadent dancing, and given that creep the brush off, and if on the way home I got hit by a bus and killed, I'd be A, pregnant, B, burning, stinking, and rotting in the pits of hell for eternity, or C, None of the above. <laughs> well, I hope we've all learned something from this modest, yet well-produced video on the perils of partying. And I gotta give credit where credit's due to a wonderful woman, our camera woman, and close personal friend of mine, our principal and mother superior, Sister Sledge. Come on in here, Sister Sledge. Come on in here. Save a place for you in purgatory. Sister, is there anything you'd like to add to this modest yet well-produced video? Yes, there is, Sister Twisted. Always remember the three D's of partying. Don't drink. Don't have fun. And don't go to the party. But if you do, you'll have to repent by saying the rosary on your knuckles. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Sister Sledge. Well said. She's a beautiful woman, even more beautiful on the inside. Well, kids, just remember, be careful out there and do your homework. Thank you, Sister Twisted. And now for the answer to your pop quiz question. Here's Professor Martin Bud Fellows. People who show up for parties early are terribly insecure, should never be invited back. I can back this up with research. Most of my friends agree. We will continue with more how to party tips, but first this promotional message. When Party Patty has a party, she parties with real snacks and drinks, just like big people. But that's not all Party Patty does. When she drinks too much, she burps, real baby burps. And when the party's over, she spits up. I love you, Party Patty. <laughs> Party Patty. Party Patty six packs sold separately. We're the station that parties. Now that you've enjoyed drinks on the town with your new party date, it's time to freshen yourself up before taking that next big step. A quick trip to the men's room will put you back in shape for the fun yet to come. <laughs> Listen, uh, I, uh, uh, I gotta get some film for my camera. Uh, wait here. Nobody's gonna believe I partied with you. <laughs> Can I use your bathroom? What kind? What kind? What kind? 110, 120, 135, instant, 35 millimeter, 8 millimeter? Uh, uh, 35 millimeter. Now, about that bathroom. Print or slide? Uh, 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 
print. Uh, now about that bathroom. Color or black and white? <laughs> uh, color. And I need a bathroom. Right, please, please. Indoor or outdoor? Oh. Look, there are going to be very many more questions. We're almost through. Indoor or outdoor? Uh, indoor. Uh, 12 exposure, 20. No, make that outdoor. Outdoor. Yeah. Look, I don't have all day. I'm sorry. 12 exposure, 20 exposure, or 36 exposure? Mm -hmm. Uh, 36. Now, please, let me use your bathroom. Cash or charge? Charge! Please, let me use your bathroom now. Master charge or fees? Master charge! Let me use your bathroom! Men's or women's? I only have a little bit of it done so far, but I brought a copy of it with me for anybody who wants to see it. How about it? It's a party do's and don'ts. Do light a lady's cigarette at a party. Don't light her hair. <laughs> The video you have just viewed contains 20 intentional errors. Can you find them all? For a complete list of the visual and audio errors in How to Party, send your name and a complete mailing address to Bogus Productions, Box 7402, Suite 250, Studio City, California, 91604. Many of us fail to realize how many kinds of parties we encounter in our lifetime. There are beach parties, record parties, graduation parties, pizza parties, Christmas parties, lunch parties, luau parties, dinner parties, breakfast parties, card parties, Halloween parties, housewarming parties, bon voyage parties, welcome home parties, Bowling parties, fraternity parties, Amway parties, uh, Tupperware parties, cast parties, poker parties, birthday parties, wedding parties, bachelor parties, bridal parties, political parties, Slumber parties, dance parties, Super Bowl parties, pool parties, costume parties, rap parties, strike parties, publicity parties, communist parties, liberation parties, Republican parties, Democratic parties, socialist parties, Nazi parties, independent parties, cocktail parties, tailgate parties, toga parties, bridge parties, pinochle parties, garden parties, private parties, office parties,